All right, welcome. Welcome to another episode, another unboxing, this time of a very special product that I'm super excited to share with you. I haven't seen it yet either, so I'm super excited. But before we get into what is in this package and unbox it, unbag it, it's a bag. All right, unbag it. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm like throwing things here. Uh, before, yeah, there we go. Uh, before we get into the unbagging of this, I wanna introduce the product. Modern Icon is known for producing high quality gear for canines, working line canines, so you're looking at military and law enforcement. And if you've been on this channel long, you know I am not either one of those. So Michelle, why the heck do you have this gear? Uh, besides looking tactical, which is the, you know, the going thing now, I do own a protection canine, so little known fact because I don't really advertise it is Phoenix is a protection canine. Back in the day in 2016, when I first found Modern Icon was because I was told and tasked to look for certain gear that had metal buckles, a certain strength to it, so that when we were training with a decoy, it kept the decoy safe. You can't roll into protection work with a collar from PetSmart or you know just a cheap buckle collar and expect to keep the decoy yourself, the trainer safe. So I was tasked to go online. They didn't give me any brands because they didn't want to recommend something. Um, so I scoured the internet and there are lots of brands that produce this kind of gear. I found Modern Icon and my very first purchase is their patrol harness. Uh, which was used for and still is used for his protection training and the reason why I fell in love with Modern Icon not only their reviews their reviews were fantastic but this harness is four years old look how good it looks guys look how good um, and obvious or three and a half years I guess um, and Phoenix was a puppy you know when we started and these aren't cheap and for me, I can't afford a new harness every time you outgrow something. So I fell in love with Modern Icon because their reviews were excellent, but this harness also has a lot of adjustments that are really safe. They're double backed, they're protected. Um, and so it really grew with Phoenix. I use this harness pretty much multiple times a week uh, to keep him safe in the car, to walk him. Um, in crowds, I like people to not pet him, but its main use and its purpose uh, was for protection work so that both myself, the trainer, and the decoy were safe. So that is how we fell in love with Modern Icon. Um, since then, I have bought a new piece once a year. I do still like owning their flat collars, even though Phoenix uh, doesn't do as much training anymore at any point uh you know sometimes in crowded spaces he could turn on he could need to protect me and i like to know that that collar is nice and strong and it's gonna not agitate his neck and it's gonna protect both me and the possible bad guy so that is how we found modern icon we are long time users we love modern icon and recently they reached out to us to ask us to test their newest series and I'm really excited about this series because it embodies everything else that I wanted in a collar. So they listen, they listen to their patrons, their customers. Phoenix doesn't always need to wear a collar with a military spec buckle that's super heavy. And sometimes he just needs a lightweight collar when we're out and about, when we're adventuring. And that is where this new collar comes in. So this is the Adventure Series. If you go on their website right now, they do have one collar on there, but this is their newest that is not on there yet. And we get to test it for the next two weeks and give our feedback on both the collar and the lead. So I'm really excited uh, to see it. I have not seen it yet. So uh, let's get going. Thing is, snug as a bug in a rug. All right. Here we go. Make sure there are no instructions. No instructions. All right. So, first impressions it is a fantastic fabric. So I'll do some close-ups, but this is definitely not your average um, 
pet store collar that's like super flexible. It's definitely, it might be doubled. It's doubled, so it's nice and thick. Got lots of loops. It's your loop for your tag here, which is actually a much smaller size, which is really nice because that's the one hard thing about all of their other collars is that you can't really get a good tag on here. All right, buckle. Ooh, that's fun. So, ooh, yeah, that's super fun. So how it pops open is actually, goes down like that. Ooh, that's really cool. So I'm gonna assume this thing comes off of here so that it doesn't get stuck, yeah. I think that was just for us dummies. So there, pull up. That's awesome. Um, that was my one. That was my one fear, honestly. Um, was it was gonna be one of those like plastic snap buttons, and I was like, mm -mm, nope. Um, that's just gonna. Those are dangerous to me um, for any dog that pulls or any dog. Period. So I really like how that comes up. Ooh, and if you don't actually pull up in a way like both sides, it won't come up. So. There we go, awesome. So I would say same quality, absolutely the same quality of craftsmanship in this collar as their other collars. Um, this is really nice as well, so if you adjust it, it has Velcro right there, and it Velcros back in place. That's awesome. Mm. Modern icon, you did good, all right. So here's the lead. This is a four foot traffic lead. I already have a lot of six foot, so I wanted a smaller traffic lead. Ooh, I like the fabric. Great job on this one, guys. Um, my one complaint with some of their patrol leads are they're really slippery. Ooh, this feels good. It is strong. Um, it's double webbed everywhere. It's kind of stiff. This buckle is fantastic. Um, fits on here well. Look at that combo. Looks great. So yeah, I am I'm super stoked about this. Uh, hands down, ooh, it even tells you about the V buckle. Look at that. Even Easy one hand opening, even with gloves, magnetic self clothing. It's a fidlock. So yeah, it's patented. I love this. Um, but yeah, I think the one thing that I was really, really worried about was this was just gonna be this flimsy collar. And then I was gonna have to tell my favorite manufacturer of dog gear that they didn't produce a good collar. Um, but so far, this thing is sexy. This thing is exactly what I would want in a adventure collar. So, you know, when we're out camping, I don't, he doesn't need to be wearing anything heavy. So. First impressions, I really, really dig it. Um, I dig this buckle. I'm gonna wanna see how it works on him and I will review that and get back to you. I am super impressed with this. I do know that they had some options that are gonna be available. Um, this is the one and a half summit and this is the four foot summit lead. Um, I do like the little thicker. I think one inch would be too small on Phoenix, but I do know some options, sorry, back to that. Uh, options that are gonna be coming available are um, the handle, at least if I read that uh, spec right. I hope I did, Lee, Modern Icon, if I didn't delete this part. Um, or just let me know, leave a comment. Um, that you can have a handle. The only competitor collar that I own is because it has a handle, and that's great for when you're like, you know, running or you need him next to you. So I absolutely love this. Amazing, amazing job. Um, I'm gonna go grab his lightest collars so that we can kind of do a demo of the difference between this super light collar and Modern Icon's lightest collar. All right, we're back with the stash here of collars. So this is the one and a half summit and I'm gonna compare this to the lightest which is the uh, one and three quarters 
from the Defender series. So this is the soft collar from the Defender series. Um, so much lighter. Like the weight of the Cobra buckle, which is this metal buckle here, the weight of this is so heavy compared to just the overall package of this. So this is Feeney's daily collar. So he has worn this since he was a baby, three and a half, almost four years here at this point. And I mean, yeah, it's beat up, but this thing, I would still trust this with his life and with a decoy's life and with a trainer's life, it's not coming undone. So I mean, just talking quality here. It doesn't look that great, <laughs> but he wears it. I mean, he's been in the ocean, he's been in rivers, he's been everywhere with this. So this is what's kind of gonna replace this minus any training that we do just because it's so freaking light, but yet stiff. I love this job on an icon. All right, next in the series is the one and a half rigid from the Operator series. This is our newest collar. It's in wolf gray. Um, that is another thing with their colors. I think I have one of every color, do I? No, I don't have multi-cam. I don't do the multi-cam. Um, but this is their newest color, wolf gray. This is coyote tan. This is wolf gray. Um, these ID panels are the difference, um, but I think they might be having them in these. I could be wrong. Um, the ID panels pop on the Velcro here. So that's like the big difference right now. Um, and the metal, obviously. So same metal buckle. This just looks prettier because it's brand new. Um, it's a little stiffer than this one, but a little lighter, oddly enough. Um, might be the difference in the buckle, but still, hands down, this is lighter. Moving up in the world, we have the two inch rigid. So as you can see here, this thing has lots of different um, safety features. So there's no longer just a buckle. It also winds in, clips closed. Um, the main difference between the Defender and the Operator series, I would say are redundancies. Um, and I could be wrong on that, but that's just my take on it. Um, with military, it can be, be between life and death if they're, you know, coming out of a helicopter or something like that. Um, it could be the difference. So I think there's just a lot more redundancies on the operator line, but I still trust the defender line for absolutely everything. That do. So this is the two inch. Um, we actually wear this a lot. Um, believe it or not, just because I like the stiffness of it and the stiffness helps protect his neck if he does pull if he's on flat collar or if we're doing um, protection work. So it's a two inch. This is my my baby. This is the leather wrapped bespoke. So beautiful leather wrapped with the same collar, all the redundancies and snapped into place. He also wears this a lot. So it's kind of dirty, I think I need to clean it. But that is our, my favorite probably of all we own. It just looks so handsome on him. It's a splurge, but totally worth it. So comparatively, this looks so vastly different, but it's the same quality. That is, I'm just over here, I don't know, I'm kind of shocked, I guess, that they could make such a light collar as, great as they make all their other collars. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see how it looks on him and how it looks after a couple weeks, how it breaks in. Um, I don't want it to break in too much. That's my one, I think, fear, is I want it to get softer, but I don't want it to get, like this still has heft to it, and that's what I want. So the other Modern Icon product that I have besides his harness, which we talked about a little bit earlier, is the patrol lead. This is the one thing that I don't really like from Modern Icon. Sorry, guys. Um, I like it, but it is really slippery. And you fixed that with this. And maybe this has a purpose for being slippery. I just lose it all the time. Like, it falls out of my hands. The only thing I really love this for is running because it is a six-footer and it is long enough to do this and then I'm not like worried about it. It does have this great like little loop right here that when I need to pull Feeny in, I can hold it by the loop. So I use this for running with him, um, but it's really slippery. Um, I like a lead with a little more heft. So I'm really excited about this one because it's got that heft. So I'm probably gonna be ordering this in a six footer when it goes live. So 
there it is. There is the unboxing, the beautiful, beautiful Summit Adventure Series. I'm really excited to test it out. And next up, we're gonna go put it on the fiends. Cause what kind of test is it if it's not on the fiends? All right, so first impressions are that I love it. Uh, it looked amazing on him. I did have to pretty much adjust it all the way out. So I think to get the fit I like, I'd probably go a size larger. Not positive though. Um, but I just really, I like this feature that you guys protected the, uh, or that they protected the fur from getting all stuck in the Velcro. And you lose that when it's a little farther out. So I think I might like it a little farther out, but first, First impressions is I love it. I love it, you guys, Modern Icon, they did a great job. And uh, we're gonna test it out for two weeks and we're gonna wrap this video up with some reviews uh, within the two weeks. We've got a camping trip coming up. We've got lots of events. Uh, so we're gonna put it to the test and let you know how it goes. Day three of testing out the lead and the color from the adventure series. He is on prom right now. Only because he just had a tight lead, so we're keeping uh, keeping a tighter lead on him. But I'm absolutely loving how the lead is breaking into my hand. It's like butter, but still stiff, which is awesome. Feeny foos, good boy. And I love how stiff and solid this is in your hand when you call him tight. So you do have. Nice control. Here. Go ahead. Nice work. Loving it. So I just found out that Modern Icon is launching their line today, February 13th. So I wanted to make sure I got my week review in. Even though this is gonna be a two week test, I wanna make sure I get this po video posted really soon so you know my review. So it's timely in case you wanna go out and purchase it. And you're gonna to want to. So we have been wearing the Adventure Series collar. No, I have not. Phoenix has been wearing the Adventure Series collar for six days, five days, six days now. And I did something that I don't normally do and the fact that I left it on all the time. So generally when we're home, Phoenix is naked, you know, he just stripped that collar off naked neck um, because his collars are heavy. So I figure that's like a lot of weight, but with this being so light and my one concern being it's stretching, I wanted to leave it on all the time. So my review after five full days of being on is though the fabric softened in a nice way, it did not lose its strength or its structure. Um, which is what I was really, really concerned about with this lightweight of a collar was that it was going to become all like flimsy. Look at this is not flimsy. Guys, this is not flimsy. This is structured collar even after five straight days of wearing it. So he got wet, he dried, he ran around like crazy. So it stretched. Um, we walked flat on it. So it got some pull and this thing solid. And that was my one concern with it. So this is gonna be our new daily collar. Um, the other thing that I was worried about, as we know, was the buckle. Um, and Phoenix doesn't really pull on flats, um, but we had a bunny this morning. It was actually this morning, run right in front of us, and he was on flat, and so he pulled, and I mean, I had a good handle on the collar, on the leash, so he didn't go far, but he put a lot of weight on this collar. This thing didn't budge, guys. This thing is, solid with being so light and I actually just heard they're getting a patent on this so congrats modern icon it's amazing so 
My only thing that I will be changing is this is the medium. Phoenix is 18 inches around the neck. This is 16 to 20. And generally, and not generally, in all of his modern icon collars, he's a medium. We're gonna be upgrading to large. And the reason why is if you can see this here, it's kind of the extra flap that covers the Velcro portion. Um, and if it's real small, it's got a lot, so it's real thick at the front. But because Feeny's on the far end, there's not much covering and there's not much that's doubled. So personal preference, I'm gonna size up so that he's on the smallest end of the large and I can have more of that doubled. Not only to not get all the fur in this, but also because Phoenix does better with a little thicker at that front. Again, personal preference, a medium will fit a medium. If you have mediums and other colors, a medium will fit just fine. That's my personal preference. Another thing I wanted to share, which they totally pointed out to me and I totally didn't notice, was right here, I'm gonna give it a second to focus, that little tab is actually for your tag and it can tuck up into there. How cool is that? Modern Icon, please put that on all your others because that's my biggest pet peeve is how to get the tag on some of these things. So I didn't have a tag on here because I was filming and I didn't wanna accidentally uh, get my address out there to everybody. But yeah, so awesome, awesome feature. I believe some other features that are coming with this will be custom embroidery, a handle, um, I think room for a tag, lots more things coming with this. I'm super excited for the handle, The and I think I've said this twice, so apparently it's a big deal, guys, um, is I prefer a handle, and it is the only competitor collar that I own because it has a handle. Um, so thank you, Modern Icon. A very, apparently it's really, really important because I've said it multiple times. So my review after one week using the Adventure Series collar is this is our new daily. This is the new collar that Feeny will be sporting on everything we do. Um, well, not everything because I have a bespoke collar and rigid collars and soft collars. So he just has lots of choice. But this will be his every day that he wears in the house instead of nakey neck because it's nice and soft and light, but still rigid. So I give two thumbs up. I think Feeny gives two paws up. Um, great job with this collar. Fantastic job with the lead. I've talked about the lead in some of the videos and it just keeps getting better and better. I will be ordering one of these in black large and a six foot lead and that I think will be our daily. Um, this is Coyote Tan, just as a reminder. Um, and I can't wait to see the customizations and how many of you love it as well because they really truly surprise the crap out of me. I love this thing way more than I thought I would. So go check their website out. It should be live. I think this is, I'm gonna try to post this video as quick as possible. Right now I'm not sure when it's gonna go live. Um, so check their website out. I have a feeling the prices are gonna be very affordable as an intro collar, which is awesome because you're gonna get the same quality that's in the really expensive collars in a lightweight, probably less expensive collar. So um, great job, that's my review. If you have any comments, questions, drop a comment below or visit me over on my Instagram, link is below. I'm happy to share my thoughts, comments, and help you guys find the right collar for you through my favorite, Modern Icon. <laughs>